Did you know that the best beach in Puerto Vallarta is not in Puerto Vallarta? It's right here. Look at that water. Ms. Maloya Beach. So you get on a local bus, 10 pesos, which is 50 cents, and uh, gotta wear your mask. And here's where you end up. I thought I would, I died and went to heaven. I haven't been here in a whole year. Wow, Ms. Maloya Beach. This place is sexy. Um, this place came on the map when Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor had a love affair starting here. Lots of scandals there in Hollywood. For you youngsters, they were the biggest Hollywood stars in the 60s, maybe even into the 70s. So if you want a beautiful, clean, pristine beach, you take, take the bus south about a half an hour from Puerto Vallarta to Ms. Maloya Beach. There are several beautiful beaches north of Puerto Vallarta, but they're farther away. Bucarayas, I'm probably saying it wrong, and uh, Sayulita. But this one is very accessible. And you have it all to yourself on a weekday. Another great thing. So this is my favorite one. This is what I think of when I think of going back to Mexico, being right here in this gorgeous place. I just got in the water and I'm super grateful to be here. Um, the thing about the beach in uh, Puerto Vera to the main beach, Las Mertos, is that it can be a little dirty. Um, and it's not dirty here because most people don't even know about it. There's a couple of resorts here, uh, little palapas, um, fishing kind of type, uh, touristy little uh, family run businesses down there at the other end. They are serving fish and drinks and so forth. Um, there's palm trees here. You're not going to find palm trees you can actually sit under in uh, the main beach of Puerto Vallarta. So, tip, get on the bus, go to Ms. Maloya Beach. Um, most people really don't know about it. Thank God. Patty, thank you, Patty. Born and raised here, local, unofficial mayor of Puerto Vallarta, took me here last year, and my heart was so grateful when I got here. This really doesn't take long. It's like a 25 minute bus trip. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you more. I'm going to show you more about what's going on here at the shore and walk you up to the bus station. So once you get to Ms. Maloya, if you go down to the end, turn right, this is where the more natural spot is. And the cleanest water away from the boats. And uh, families come down here, honeymooners, me. So. There's only a couple big resorts here, which makes it nicer, so it's not overwhelmed with people, even on a Sunday. Um, if you want to get a boat ride, you go over there to Yalapa. I just love the color of the water. Whew. Soaking up the sun and the fun. I would take my glasses off, but I can't see a darn thing without my prescription sunglasses. I don't want to trip. <laughs> I'm already recovering 
from falling down in Palo Alto in a restaurant, it was not the sake. It was the fact that my foot fell asleep. So I was stuffing myself with sushi and didn't get up for a while. So there you go. Um, so we're getting to, oh, you know what? Some of the families bring their whole family cooler ice. So you don't have to go to the restaurants, but I have been to a couple of them. They're actually quite good with patty. That was fun, patty. So you gotta cross this ravine to get to the good part. Oh boy. Ooh. Hang on. It's a Sunday. Wow, wow, wow. There we go. Lots of people coming in for the fun. So this is what it looks like in the little restaurants. Lots of damage from the hurricane. Wow, roofs came off and everything. I'm just going to the bathroom. Here we go. Oh wait, that's not it. It's over here. It is fun to see all the people having fun. Get your pesos ready. <laughs> I gotta get it. This is a good servicio. Bueno. So the bathrooms, you pay six pesos. Actually, I think it's a good service. Because then they're always really clean. Here we go. nice place to have a drink or lunch with your friend or by yourself. Lots of fun families here. Everybody's friendly. Now if you come on a weekday there's nobody here so keep that in mind. <laughs> You're looking good. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Mexico knows how to have fun. Uh, the other night, <laughs> at 1.30 in the morning, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, at the hotel, 20 feet away from my bedroom window, some music started up and I didn't like it. So I went out on my balcony and told them to cut it off, but then I started speaking Italian. Italian is... Uh, Similar, similar to Espanol. Um, and they looked at me like, what are we doing wrong? Playing music loud in the middle of the night? What's wrong with that? They stopped. <laughs> so you go up here and catch the bus. Here we go. I'm leaving when everyone's coming. I think it's about 12 noon. Good idea to get here before. <laughs> On a Sunday. This was the perfect amount of time for me out in nature. Now I'm ready to get back to Wi-Fi, espresso, and electricity. <laughs> 
Buenos dias. Adios. Bus is coming soon.